Okay, now I've got a table here for us to have a quick look at. Now this table really is kind of breaking down our phases of competition and the goals within it. So during our pre-season, our general pre-season meso phase here, uh, we're looking at health-related components of fitness and they're gonna be our main focus. Uh, our skill-related stuff is gonna to begin to be developed. Our skills and stuff are gonna be introduced. We're looking at technique, doing some biomechanical analysis. Strategy and tactics will be introduced, but really not the focus. Uh, and mental stuff will kind of get introduced during this whole um, pre-season section. Uh, when we then come to our specific pre-season, we're going to maintain our health-related components of fitness because we don't want to lose them, uh, but we're going to focus on developing our skill-related components of fitness that are relevant for our sport. We're going to develop our skills so that they're quite nicely refined and getting ready for competition. We're going to refine our strategies and tactics so that we know what we're actually going to do when we come into competition, and really probably more refining our um, tactics than our strategies at this point, uh, and then still continuing to... Um, introduce and develop our mental skills. During the in-season phase, we are maintaining both our health and skill-related components of fitness. We're gonna really perfect our skills and we're gonna make sure that we focus lots on our strategy and tactics. So we should have our tactics really under our belt by now because our tactics are about what our team are going to do in terms of you know, our structure, how we're gonna generally approach most things uh, in our sport, but then our strategies are about our specific opponent and how we're gonna actually beat that team uh, our mental stuff is going to be maintained. Our psychological strategy should have been introduced and quite well developed by now. And then in our off season, in our um, season at the end, we're looking at uh, doing small amounts of our health and skill related components of fitness. We're not going to do any skill really, not really any strategy or tactics, and really we're really focusing in our mental stuff on our recovery. Might go and do some meditation, uh, might go and get some massages, might go and spend some time listening to music and just chilling out, having a holiday, all those types of things. Now, of course, everything that happens throughout each of these phases is going to be specific to the sport. Uh, even the health-related components and the skill-related components, are, are, they're going to focus always on the main elements that are needed for the sport that the person is training for. Okay, here we're going to have a quick look at an entire periodization chart. Now, this one focuses on football or soccer, depending on what you want to call it. So this is essentially a macro cycle. It looks at a whole year. Uh, you can see here that our preparation or our um, pre-season training is going to start all the way on the far side here on the right. Uh, our general preparation there is looking at developing our strength and our power. Uh, because they are things that are required in soccer and uh, they because that's going to then lead into things like speed you can see that speed is really rested during that general phase but then is developed after strength and power is developed okay um we're going down we're going to develop our flexibility develop our cardiovascular fitness develop our muscular endurance but our skills and our agility are being rested when we come then to the specific phase of our pre-season phase uh, we're then going to have a look here, we're going to maintain our strength and power, really develop our speed, develop our flexibility a bit more, uh, maintain our cardiovascular fitness because that should be good by now. Uh, we'll still do a little bit of developing of our muscular injuries, but then that's really going to shift into being maintained as well. Skills are going to start to be really developed. Um, agility will begin to be developed at the end uh, because agility has to do with speed, power, change in direction, flexibility, so many things combined that you can't really work on developing it until those base things are developed already. During our competition phase for soccer, so we have a very large competition phase here for soccer, uh, a lot of things are just being maintained. Uh, within skills there, it says strategy and tactics because part of your skills is about reading the play and where you fit in what your team's doing and stuff. So that's gonna be your focus throughout this section. Uh, we're gonna have periods here though, you'll see where we develop cardiovascular endurance and we're gonna develop our speed too. Now the reason why they're in there and so strength uh, is because if you don't spend some time to develop them again, uh, you will actually have some reversibility. And so you'll notice in these kinds of seasons, often teams will have a period where they were performing really, really well, but then uh, they'll have a couple of weeks where they don't perform as well and then things will improve. Normally that's the time period when they're starting to look at developing their strength and their speed and stuff again because that's high intensity training. It takes longer to recover from. It's going to have an effect on their performance because they're not going to be fully recovered uh, for it. But it's important to, in terms of maintaining ourselves across the full six months of this uh, in season. So there's almost like another pre-season within the middle of the season, but they don't get a break. Um, then we come to the end of the season. So if there's finals, then they're, they're gonna try and peak for that. And so you're gonna to start to rest a bit more. 
uh, as they get closer to performing in your finals to make sure their bodies are nicely recovered because they're going to be fairly worn from the season. And then after the season there, you see it's been a six-month season. So October, they're going to really rest, do very little cardiovascular endurance just to make sure they don't lose everything. Um, giving them a whole month there where they're going to spend most of their time resting. They probably should focus on some psychological strategies of getting some meditation in there and going on a holiday, spending time with family at a kind of level that they didn't get to do during the actual season of training. When we then break that down even further and we come to look at our micro cycle, so let's have a look at the micro cycle here. The micro cycle really uh, is our, now looking at just our week of training. So here we're in our pre-season, our general phase of competition. We're developing cardiovascular endurance, flexibility, strength, and muscle endurance. Now that's straight off that uh, macro cycle periodization chart that goes for the whole year. So the dates here, so this is November, that will match up with the macro cycle looking at November, what our goals and objectives are for that period of time. Okay, we have uh, times in here of rest where the athlete is allowed to recover. We're developing strength, cardiovascular flexibility. So they have quite an intense middle section uh, of their training. And it's really broken down uh, and we're giving them pretty much 48 hours of rest, even though it's actually only one day where they have no training on. But because it's Saturday morning training and then Monday afternoon training, it gives them a good chunk of time where they get to rest and really recover during this pre-season. Remembering the pre-season is actually a really intense period of training normally uh, because there is no competition for, uh, coming into it.